organic waste doesn't make for polite conversation. Here's the unsavory truth. Our beautiful planet, its natural ecosystems, and its human population are becoming increasingly ill from organic waste pollution. In the United States, almost half of the nation's rivers and streams are in poor condition. 36% are unfit for use by fish and wildlife. 23% are unsafe for swimming and recreation. That's because we're producing more waste than nature can process and absorb. In the United States, wastewater from households alone generate 180 million pounds of sludge each day. In Europe, 300 million pounds of sludge are produced daily. Estimates for China are 1.4 billion pounds of sludge each day. Sludge is the byproduct of wastewater treatment. We need wastewater treatment around the world. It's good for public health. It's good for the environment. Here's the rub. The volumes of sludge produced globally are bound to grow at ever more unmanageable rates, especially as countries around the world address the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6. This UN report about wastewater prioritizes prevention stressing that the development of wastewater treatment still has, as one of its objectives, the minimization of solids production. In the European Union, where new member states have been playing catch-up with wastewater treatment infrastructure, this directive recommends prevention as the best path to managing sewage sludge. A whole industry has sprouted to provide solutions to manage sludge. The circular economy approach has been guiding efforts to convert that waste stream into a resource stream for energy generation, compost for agriculture, and other applications. These solutions typically require heavy equipment and carry a large cost that many communities can't afford. They are also insufficient. About half of the sewage sludge produced in the U.S. is still hauled away for disposal. It ends up in landfills, where it generates greenhouse gases and air pollution, like methane, nitrous oxide, ammonia, and hydrogen sulfide. Or it's incinerated, generating more greenhouse gases. Or it's spread over farmland, potentially contaminating soils and crops with pathogens and antibiotic-resistant bacterial strains. In Europe, up to 80% of sludge is dumped in landfills or fields, or incinerated. Drylet's mission is to flip the waste conversation and the waste equation on its head. We prevent sludge production by boosting nature's processing power. Drylet's proprietary approach is simple. Non-toxic, porous particles loaded with beneficial microbes. One pound of Drylet's product contains 12 football fields of solid area covered with microbes. The result? A hundred times the microbial density of any regular liquid culture. Thanks to the safe habitat provided by the particles, the microbes reproduce at an accelerated rate. They bloom and feed off the organic waste in a frenzy that converts solids into water and gas. Microbes eventually reduce sludge at rates of up to 50% compared to unaided natural degradation. Picture this, about half the volume of sludge simply absorbed by nature. Drylet's customers are experiencing this at wastewater treatment plants in collection systems, in septic tanks, in hog barns, in manure lagoons. Any place where biology is at work to process waste, Drylet can boost it and dramatically enhance its efficiency. All it takes is adding product. For a healthy planet, that's simply what we do. Help nature do its job.